What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. And today I'm gonna to talk about one of the most important topic which majority of you are concerned about and that is the lasting of the fragrance. I know majority of the people who are beginning into the fragrance world are usually concerned about the lasting of the perfume that they want to buy. But I'll tell you in my honest opinion, lasting should be just the second priority because it is more important to smell good or smell attractive than worry about the lasting of the fragrance. Now this is my personal opinion guys. So for me, lasting is secondary. It is more important to smell good or smell attractive than the lasting of the fragrance. What is the whole point that you wear very good or heavy projecting perfume which can last 15 as plus, but it does not smell great at all. So you might feel happy that, okay, my perfume is projecting too loud. It projects about five feet away and people around me can smell it. But, but what's the whole point when people around you just cannot take the way it smells and you're the only one feeling happy that it smells great or it projects really nice. Everybody can smell it when it smells like crap. Because I'll tell you certain facts. The most good smelling perfumes need not last or project well. So that's the fact about perfumes. If you have, I'm not saying there is none like that. There can be, like if you take examples of Club de New Intense Man, the old batches, it used to perform great. It used to project well, it used to last long. And at the same time, it smells good to people. And if you take the example of Havas, which is one of the fresh type fragrance again, it also had the same result. It smells great, projects really good, and it lasts long. Now, generally fresh categories of fragrance do not have the ability to last long because of the notes used in it. Citrus, fresh and aquatic type of notes do not have the capacity of lasting longer because that's the character of the notes used in it. And that's the kind of fragrance that you need to use in high summers. And India being one of the country where most of the cities have high humid temperatures, coastal areas, most of the perfumes do not last that long. And because they do not last that long, people worry too much about it and then end up buying some shitty perfumes which last long but does not smell great. So in my opinion, that's not a good idea at all because it is important for you to smell great than worry about the lasting of the fragrance. Now what you do in such instance is the simple solution, you just carry some travel atomizers with you and you can reapply every four hours or five hours. It is quite simple to use travel atomizers or decans when you think your fragrance smells great but does not last long. Now that's the simplest solution that I can give. Let's take the example of Dolce Gabbana, the one which I have. Now this is known to be one of the sexiest fragrances in the designers. But the only drawback in this one is it cannot last that long and it cannot project at all. Now if I have to talk about the quality of smell, this is one fragrance that I have not seen a single person saying that they do not like the smell of this one. Because this is known to be a date scent and in my personal opinion too, I would definitely agree that this is one of the sexiest smelling designer fragrance that I have ever smelled. And I have not seen a single person disliking this fragrance. The only problem with Dolce Gabbana, the one, is it does not last that long. I only get about five hours maximum when I try it or when I wear it on myself. And when I tested it on kerchief just to see the actual lasting of the fragrance, it came about six hours max and it just vanishes after that. Now that's about the concerns on the lasting of the fragrance. Now coming to the facts of how exactly you test the lasting of fragrance. Now majority of people who wear fragrance, they judge the lasting of the fragrance incorrectly. The reason why I'm saying incorrectly is because it is not appropriate to judge or conclude the lasting of the fragrance when you're wearing it yourself and when you smell it yourself. And I'll tell you why. The human nose has this nature of getting used to the same smell when you wear it yourself. Take the example of a fish market or the garbage spot where they dump garbages. I'm sure you would have experienced one of these two. You would have either experienced going to a fish market or you would have experienced passing by a garbage dump or going near a garbage dump area. So what happens is when you initially enter that place, it smells so intense, it smells so gross that you just can't take the smell because that's the first sniff that you get and that's the first impression that you get. When you enter such place, you just can't take that dirty smell. It just gets annoying and you 
try to hold your breath or you just cover your nose and just hold it because you just can't take that smell. I'm sure you would have experienced the difference when you stay in that particular spot for say 15 to 20 minutes, then your nose would be able to take that smell. I'm sure you would have experienced this. The reason is your nose gets used to that particular smell and after a certain time, it would not get the same sensitivity of intensity of that smell when you stay in the same place and when you keep breathing the same type of smell for more than 15-20 minutes and that is normal. Now this is what happens with your perfumes as well. When you wear it on yourself, you tend to breathe the same smell, the same notes that you're wearing and then after a few hours you would not feel the fragrance at all and that does not mean that the fragrance that you're wearing does not last because your nose tends to get used to it and that is why you sometimes don't recognize that it is still on you and it is still lasting longer than your nose can detect it. Now the best way to judge the lasting of the fragrance is now this is my method of testing it what I do is I never judge the lasting of the fragrance when I wear it on myself. If I have to actually test the lasting of the fragrance, I spray it on clothes or on my handkerchief. I give two sprays on the handkerchief and then I fold it and keep it back in my cupboard. And I personally don't wear any fragrance that particular day because when you wear fragrance and then test other fragrance, your nose can still go blind. It cannot detect some of the fragrance notes, which is already in one of these. So just keep it back in your cupboard. Test the smell every one hour. Do not keep testing every 15 seconds because your nose can get confused when you keep smelling the same fragrance. So smell it once every 30 minutes or once every one hour and then see how long it sticks on to the cloth that you have spread. And that's the easiest way and the simplest way, the most appropriate way in my opinion to just the last thing. So do not wear it on yourself. Do not smell it yourself and then say this only lasts about four to five hours. I've heard people saying 10 hours plus they are just liars, they are just bluffing. You are judging it the wrong way, guys. So you need to know these facts before you judge and conclude the lasting of the fragrance. So do not judge it when you wear it yourself and when you are smelling it yourself. If you really need to know the lasting of the fragrance, you should not be wearing that fragrance yourself. And you have to be indoors. So if you are using the method that I said, do not spray it on the kerchief that you have already used it on yourself. Use a fresh one which is washed and dried so that it does not have any smell on it already, then spray it, keep it back in the cupboard, do not expose it to sunlight or the weather conditions outside, then test the fragrance. Again, when you do this testing, does not mean that you need to have the same result when you wear it on yourself because it again depends on the temperature that you live in, the climate that you live in because the lasting of the fragrance always changes based on the temperature or the climate that you live in. And it obviously changes based on the body chemistry that you have because every human skin have different levels of temperature. So it depends on what perfume suits that particular temperature of your body. So it can vary based on the weather. It can vary based on the skin chemistry. Now these are also the facts. And the third factor is every nose has different levels of sensitivity. So it does not mean that if I can smell it, everybody else have to smell it because the sensitivity of each nose varies from person to person. So some noses can detect really quick and some don't detect at all. It is just like how human beings have different levels of eyesight, different. So even the human nose reacts the same way. Not everybody can smell even the lightest of perfumes. Some can smell it, some cannot smell it. That does not mean the perfume does not last long and does not mean that somebody is bluffing about it. It's all about what that person's nose can detect. Generally, when you wear a fragrance and when you keep smelling it every 15 seconds, then your nose goes blind and then you think that, you assume that it does not last long. That's olfactory fatigue issue. That's the term used in perfumery because that's not how you judge the lasting of any fragrance. So these are the facts about how you judge the lasting of fragrance. So I'm sure it would have made some sense to you now because I have given practical, logical examples so that you understand how exactly you judge the lasting of fragrance. And in my opinion, lasting should only be the second factor. Do not give it as a first priority. It is more important to smell attractive than giving importance to the lasting of fragrance. There is no point wearing a long lasting or a heavy projecting fragrance when it smells like crap. 
It is more important to smell good, it is more important to smell attractive than giving importance to the lasting of fragrance. You can simply reapply it, guys. Anyway, that's my opinion. If you still think lasting is your first priority, go ahead, it's your personal choice. But in my opinion, I only give second priority to the lasting because I go based on the quality of smell because it is more important to smell great than worry about the lasting. So that's about it. Let me know your thoughts about this particular topic that I just mentioned. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time in another video. Cheers.